to a plan nearly 20 years in the making could give a White County School Corporation just the boost it needs. The Tri-County School Corporation has seen some student growth in the last few years, but as News 18's Kelly Roberts reports, a plan for the U.S. 24 corridor could get the population to where it needs to be. Gib Crimmins has been Tri-County School Corporation's superintendent for 18 years. For most of that time, he has been hearing about a plan for a U.S. 24 corridor. Years ago, I think it was talked about, and then you didn't hear much about it. I think people almost gave up on it. White County Economic Development Organization President Randy Mitchell says the plan for the corridor, which will be called the Mid-America Commerce Park, is gaining feet, and construction could begin this fall. Crimmins hopes the development that comes with the corridor will bring more people to the Woolkids Remington area and more students to the Tri County schools. Realistically, the way the school funding political world sets up, either you grow or you severely suffer. But Crimmins has seen slow growth in the last few years. Right now, there are about 750 to 800 students in the district. He's seen an increase of about 10 to 20 students a year since more development came to the area. We're seeing several um, major growth in the last few years here anyway with advanced auto uh, monsanto is into a major project remington hybrids is into a major project crimmins says it may take some time to grow the district's population but he feels lucky to be in a place where it can happen so many communities because of location have very little hope for growth it's been an opportunity for a long time and we're it's starting to show up here with some of the growth that's happening. Mitchell says the plan is to have the corridor run about five miles from the I-65 and U.S. 24 interchange to the town of Wolcott. Reporting in White County, Kelly Roberts, News 18.